Believe it or not, the Internet of Things has been around since the last century. The first Internet of Things device was a toaster in 1990, which was connected to a computer and you could turn it on and off via the Internet. I'm still guessing that you would have had to be quite close to the toaster to put the toast in and push it down, so I'm not sure if it was entirely effective. However, things have come on a long way since then, so let's delve into the future of the Internet of Things. It is predicted by 2020 that there'll be 24 billion Internet of Things connected devices around the world. That's enough for four for every person on Earth. While in the future we will all benefit from the Internet of Things, it is predicted that the most affected industries will be the service and logistics sectors. In the short term, it's predicted that manufacturing, transport and utilities will be the biggest adopters. The Internet of Things will also stretch to smart cities. Yes, these smart cities actually do exist and the technology is rapidly developing. These smart cities have and will deploy sensors throughout the infrastructure. These sensors will allow people to collect the data and this data will enable people to become more effective in running and managing these cities. For example, this could look like improving traffic flows, monitoring energy use, working out where to put rechargeable car stations and reducing the overall carbon footprint of the city. This rapid adoption is occurring because the Internet of Things allows for automated real-time data collection and communication between particular services like logistics, maintenance and suppliers. More and more big players are entering the Internet of Things space and it's hardly surprising because by 2020 it's predicted that the industry is going to be worth six trillion dollars. And no, I didn't read that wrong, that's six with 12 zeros on the end. Anyway, the big thing for businesses is that the Internet of Things is relatively inexpensive and easy to install and operate. The devices are small and uncomplicated and it's easy to connect, just like connecting your phone to Wi-Fi. So it's going to be a fast-paced and eye-opening journey. The Internet of Things is here to stay and it's going to get better and better and better. It's going to make our lives easier and more efficient.